Hey, hi, hello, and welcome back to a weird episode of Wolf's Ritual Night. Um, I'm actually recording this kind of off the cuff, I don't have a script. Um, this is supposed to be a patron-only video, and I may open it up to everybody eventually, but this was a really unique concept that uh, I kind of came up with. I had a handful of people that we were playing Valheim with in the Ocean Soul Discord. We had probably about 10, 12 people who played regularly. We ended up having two servers that I paid for just to make sure that everybody could play when they wanted to. But if you don't know what Valheim is, it is a game where it's like heavy Norse mythology. Um, the god Odin has actually sent you to this 10th realm uh, that has been recently discovered and there's a plague of like evil that's infecting it and you have recently died and everybody else who's with you has recently died and Odin instead of taking you to one of the regular afterlives that you would normally go to in Norse mythology there's this new one called Valheim and you are s supposed to you know gear yourself up and go fight these like other like demigods that are infecting the land it's it's really fun it's a lot of fun there's a lot of like home building hearth building um almost everything is a reference to to norse lore you can run into uh like thor will be in the sky during a lightning storm odin will just randomly be walking through the woods and if you look at him eventually he fades into mist uh, you can never catch him um, there are rumors that like Loki exists in the game somewhere and he'll like walk around as well. So it's really, really cool. But we built up a giant Norse village in the game and we had several sacred spaces. One of the, the reason we chose a certain spot was I found a tree that was bigger than all the other ones and I immediately dedicated it to Thor. Put up a sign and said, you cannot cut this down because in the game you're supposed to cut down trees to get wood. And I said, no. Do not cut this tree down. This is a tree to Thor. Well, we had several people spend hours and hours, days, building up uh, a god temple. And uh, we put a statue of Odin in the god temple. And a raven appeared on top of the god statue. And I was like, this is a sign. We should do a ritual. And originally, we were going to like kind of walk around and do the ritual in like different places. And one day, we may actually go back and do that. But this night, I was like, we, we were experiencing heavy lag. It was it was a whole thing. But this was our ritual to the gods. Now, it is a little weird to do it in a video game. I agree with that. Uh, but it was extremely serious to us. We took it very seriously. I wrote this entire ritual, and I wrote it very seriously. I meant every word. Even though I was speaking in terms of video games, uh, you know, talking about like magical potions and running uh, and talking about extra stamina and um, talking about like the food that we would eat and uh, the foes that we would kill and all that stuff. Yes, those were video game topics, but the gods to us are real and the dedication and time that we put into it was an offering to them because we wanted to make it like, we as polytheists wanted to make it feel real. And that's why we enjoyed the game so much, honestly. Like, it had its failings in certain areas, it lacked in certain areas. But overall, I would recommend the game to people, especially Norse polytheists. Um, but also, it kind of made us feel a little bit closer to the gods as we worked through it. And I think that that's something that you can do just in general. Like, it doesn't always have to be super serious in person when it comes to venerating and honoring your deities. You can do it in other different ways and sometimes it can be something as you know easy as a video game. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy this ritual. Uh, I did write it very seriously. I put a lot of heart and soul into it. I meant every word even if those words were tied to a video game. Um, I kind of want to do more stuff like this in the future. So let me know what you guys think and hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. And yeah, 
Until then, go big or go home. May the gods guide us. May the gods guide us. May our oaths keep us. May our oaths keep us. May our deeds free us. May our deeds free us. May our ancestors aid us always. May our ancestors aid us always. May the gods banish all ill and wrong from around us. May the gods, gods banish all ill and wrong around, 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 around us. May the blessings of the gods be over our heads. May the blessings, May the blessings of, the gods of the gods be over, be over, over our, our heads. heads. So let it be. So, so let, let it, it be. be. Tonight, we pause our work and gather in our hold to offer thanks and reverence to the gods who watch over us and the whites who we share space with. Thor, Thunderer, Mighty Striker, strongest of all the gods, we ask for your strength and protection as we move across these dangerous lands. Shadows dance around us, and threats are all around. We ask that in these times of trouble, you swing Mjolnir with us and send our foes reeling. And if a blow should land on us, it is but glancing. So let it be. So let it, so be. Let it be. Frere, grower, fertile farmer, god of the harvest, we ask that you bless these lands and fields. We dedicate them to your service, and our sweat pours onto the ground with our veneration of you. Our bodies grow thin, and our stomachs ache in the night. We ask that in the times of need, our fields flourish and produce plentiful. So let it be. So, so, let, let, it be. Be. so let it be. So let it be. Hell, Night Mother, Walker between realms, Goddess of the Dead, we ask that you stave off our end while we strive to complete our tasks, that in our final hour, as the great beyond calls our names, you let the cries fall on deaf ears. For when you find our bodies broken and tired, you help us back up and bless us with one more breath. And with that breath, we will venerate you. So let it be. So, so, let, it be. so let it be. Scothi, cold dweller, stalker of prey, goddess of the hunt, we ask that you guide us on our travels. As we traverse these unknown lands, we find familiar and strange beasts alike. And be them enemy, we ask that our prowess is that which you can be proud of. And as we stalk through the great forests, plains, and icy mountains, our arrows fly straight, and with your blessing, strike true on our own great hunt. With every foe defeated, we venerate you. So let it be. So let it, so be. Let it be. Freya, Golden One, Lady of the Falcon, Goddess of Magic. On this night, we also hail Freya, Matron of Folkvanger, and Master of Love and War. We ask that in our greatest time of need, you bless us with unnatural abilities and luck. If we need to run and realm in your honor, so let it be. So, so let, it be. let it be. Whites of the land, forces of life and nature, spirits of the forgotten. We take this time to say thank you. Thank you for your gifts with every tree, rock, deer, and so many more we get closer to cleansing this land of the toxins that have infested this place. As you have given us gifts, we too give gifts of veneration, cultivation, and purification. So let it be. So let it be. Let it be. And now we raise our horns to the gods and whites and give thanks. From the gods, from, from the gods, the gods. From, the gods. From, the gods. from the gods, to the earth, to, to the, earth. the earth, to us, to, to, us. Us. to us, from us, from, from us. us, to the earth, 
to the to the, to the gods to the, to gods. the gods a gift has been given a gift has, a been, gift given. has been given so let it be so, so let it be. So let it be. So let it be.